Hey guys, welcome back to LM Country Living. If you've seen Friday's video, you know that we changed the brakes, the calipers, blah blah blah. But you also heard that our water pump is going out. <laughs> Come with us today while you while I learn how to change a water pump out. <laughs> As she said, she's gonna be learning. She wants to learn how to do this, so I've done a bunch of them. So I'm gonna teach her how to do it. That way, if anything ever happens, she can change her own water pump. Anyway, so without further ado, I'm gonna run the camera and walk her through step by step on what to do first. So first thing, M, you know, you're gonna to wanna to do, disconnect the battery. Didn't take too many turns, yeah, it's already loose. You can grab the... That was tight. They're supposed to be tight. No, I meant like the wires yeah, around it made, I made it really tight. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay, All right. that? Next. Next. <laughs> Gotta drain the antifreeze. Okay. So you're gonna need a bucket. It drains over here. Huh? On this side. I do believe. Now you remember where the plug is? It's on the side over there. I see it. Drain plug is down in there. It is a pain. Regardless what you take off, it's a pain. Take the battery off, still pain. Take the grill out, still pain. It doesn't matter. On this model, it's just a pain. They could do it, they could put it a lot better. I'm getting air freeze on my hands, I don't care. Try and get the plug. Now you got that draining. You're gonna need to. I think you're gonna have to pull the clutch fan off for this one. Let me get the belt out of your way. I said I was going to. I guess not. I can't get my big ass hand in here. Pull. It's stuck on the fan. Yeah, there you go. Suck on everything. Let's get that thing out of the way. Alright, so get over there. I am over here. Awesome. You'll have to get, you see the fan? This one? Yeah. There's four bolts. See the nuts? Mm -hmm. You'll have to get a, a wrench in there and mm -hmm. take every one of them okay. off. Probably not. Then again, it probably is. Now the fan's gonna turn by itself. It's got a clutch on it. I know. So holding it ain't gonna really help you. It's 
So this is fun. You want to learn. I want you to be able to just hold the fan really and be able to nope. loosen it up. Let me show y'all what we're doing here. The water pump is obviously trashed. Look here. I don't know how well you, I'm going to try to get. I'm right handed in this. See the play in it? Water pump's trashed. Bearings in its shot, so that's what we're doing. We're we got a new water pump we're gonna put on. And I'm trying to show M. She wanted to learn how to change it. It's just every model is different and I don't think that water pump's ever been changed since Watch me be tightening it. Up. Lefty Lucy. Bless you. Thank you. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. I think you're tightening it there. I felt like it was a perfect place for you to stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took over. She couldn't get it, so. They don't make a spot for big hands. To be fair, I had to go get another tool just so he could do it. Yeah, because my <laughs> screwdriver wasn't long enough. show y'all real quick now that we can actually see it wiggles real tight to move shouldn't be that tight it should almost you know turn pretty freely so next step is you got to take all these these four bolts out here so you can uh yeah so go for it is it not Oh, you need the breaker bar. Hold on. Or not the breaker bar, but the pry bar. Hold on. I don't know if there's anything for it to catch on or not. Guys, I gotta put the camera down to help her, so let me see if I can maybe position this somewhere. Maybe. Now. y'all can still see I really don't know don't lose them
Kobe? I don't know about you using a ranch on them anyway. I don't know what to do. That's going to be 13. Is it a little loose? That same one. Yeah. It is half. It, it feels like it is half inch here, huh? Watch out. Move. Quit putting the damn ranch on that shit. Yep. And I wish they could pick a size standard or metric and stay with it and quit throwing oddball. So far, they've been kind of keeping the same. No, they haven't. Half inch. It's not what I mean. Here you go. Does it go this way? Yep. to mechanic for it's over with. After he just sat here and made fun of me. No, I didn't make fun of you. I just said you want me to take over. He says I'm slow. I didn't say that either. <laughs> I said I'm learning. You gotta expect me to be a little bit slower. Sometimes you gotta feel around for the boats. You can't go by sight alone. Get off of there. Tell me what you tell them what you just told me. You love the little bitty spots. I love the little bitty spots they give you. She just now learned it, guys. How long are you? Dang. There. <laughs> Guaranteed it's rusted to it.
He's gonna have to burn off some air freeze. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen though. There it goes. Had to break it free. That rust get, gets a hold of it. I don't want to let it go. Ew. Yeah. All right, so water pumps off. We got the new one. Just about ready to go on. We got to clean up all the old gasket around here. Get it good and cleaned off. And try your best not to get anything in there. How I usually resolve that. Taking this water towels. And just shoving it in there for right now. And it kind of keeps all the gunk out of it. I can't hardly do it with my left hand because I'm right-handed. But anyhow, you get the drift. And then we'll clean up around it. So, we'll get to it. All right, so I'm going to do this part. If you come with the gasket, I'm still going to put the gasket on it. I don't guess you have to do it. We've always done it this way. Seems to help it hold better. But I'm going to set my gasket out of the way. I used a uh, RTV or the Permatex, the Ultra Blue. That's what I use. That's what I like. They have black. It's really good. Just depends on what you're using it for. But I've always used this for the, for this kind of thing. I just take me some, and I just spread it around where the gasket goes on here. And I know somebody probably don't like this stuff and to tell me all you need is the gasket. Yeah, well what. What does it hurt to be a little extra precautious? It don't. It don't. Besides, it's awful pretty. This is what my dad's always done. He's been a mechanic for years, so. Almost have to have him do this. I know y'all can't probably see it, but my finger's almost too big. Then I also put a small little bit around around here where it goes. Like I said, I don't know if you have to do that or not. I just like doing it. I wasn't trying to be cute. I just accidentally slapped on myself. So, if I can find a place to grab it. This whole setup is a joke. Now, honestly, I actually was looking at it, and I'm pretty sure we replaced this once before. I don't know that for a 100% fact. Bolt in it because I just don't trust it just sitting there. And something already don't feel right. Like the fucking gasket moved or something. And then I, I think. These have to be torqued as well. I was just going to go ahead and start this one. He's already attached everything, guys. Um, uh -huh. I just told him that you've already attached everything you got. I everything. Most of the bolts in place. Just started the bolts. He started the bolts. He's got them in place. I'm trying to get this one started. Yeah. The bigger ones? You got them tight? As tight as I can. 
as I feel comfortable getting them because you told me not to over tighten them. Well, I got hooked holes back up. Not that holes. This bottom hose? Yeah, I gotta bend it down in there. decrease. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the heater. Over. After that's done, that's done. Got to put the pulley back on. This one? Yeah. Let me just feel it real quick. Oh, yeah. This one goes right here? Or yeah. does it go over here? No, it goes. I don't know. You, you can't put this. This is the this. one that fell in the antifreeze. Then it come off the water pump. I'd say. I don't. Maybe. I don't know what you. Okay, it's probably that one. It, I mean. It, I say this is the one that fell in the antifreeze because this is the one that you were having issues with. You know, I mean, there's one way to find out because they both won't fit the same thing. If that fits that, then that's it, yeah. You just got to take the little... These? Yep, and put them... Put it back on. I was trying to remember what went there. Of course, I won't be able to get it tight tight without the one thing. So, y'all want to hear a bunch of cussing? You're about to. Because this is about. Days of the two piece fan shrouds I miss. Yeah, two piece fan shrubs. Was nice. Them days are gone. You may have to do this with her little bee hands because uh, homeboy's hands are too big. I need to start my wheel. You may have to because I. So before battery died, we was, I don't even remember where we was at. You know, I don't remember. Oh, we were fixing to put the bolts on the little fan. Anyway, the fan's on. Putting the fan shroud on. We're going to tighten the belt up. Put the other motor back, or the other fan back in. Because this thing's got two fans. It's got one electric, which kicks on. Mainly when the uh, air conditioner's on. And when it gets really hot. And then it's got a clutch fan on this side. And put the plug back in, put the antifreeze back in it, hook it all, and start it up. And burp it. Burp. That's about it. So I'm going to put the, tighten the belt up. It's got an old school 
belt tensioner on it. it ain't like your newer fangled vehicles basically it's got a long bolt right here on the pulley this is your tensioner pulley long bolt and you basically crank it down and it pulls that pulley up and tightens the belt up at the same time we'll start it up after I get this gallon in it to let it circulate and get the rest of the air out is that what you call burping? when we start it up yeah Alright guys, it's done. It finally got done last night. Battery died on us, so you didn't get to see the last real part of it. But she's back together. We poured the fluid in it. We got it all set up ready to go. We ran it for about 30 minutes, got it up temperature, didn't find any leaks. Everything looked good, so I think Em did a wonderful job. <laughs> what Em could do because she's not strong enough to do a lot of well, stuff. Well, <laughs> you still got the principle of what needed to be done. Yeah, I so, got the principle. I know yeah. how to change a water pump out now. So anyway, guys, if y'all like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button. Hopefully we are done mechanicing for a little bit and we can actually get some outdoor content going. We've have got to do one outdoor video in the past two weeks and it's starting to suck. So yeah. hopefully we can either get back on that thing or do something, but something in the woods, something in the woods. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe. We love y'all. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Stay living country. See you next time. Bye. Bye.